What's up guys, Emerald Void here. This is Link Shadow. And welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask 3 Heart Challenge. Uh, we are about to, I say we, but it's more Robbie. We are about to uh, head to the boss room and take on the boss. Again. A again, yeah. I forgot about that. We yeah, it kind of like, it stomped us. Blue balled it a little bit. Yeah. That was unplanned, but... This time... We are prepared. Alright, so this looks... And by prepared, I mean we're going to have to backtrack in this temple just a smidge more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we had to reset the pillars. Lame. Yeah, it was kind of lame. So we're just going to time lapse, and uh, actually we're just going to cut. Screw time lapse, and we're going to cut straight to the boss, and we'll meet you guys back at the boss room. Uh, wow, it just starts you out right in the fucking boss fight. Yeah, it does. So I guess, you know, what's up guys? Boss room. Uh, Time to kick some ass. Gotta fuck that bull up. Did you know the most commonly used letter in the alphabet is E? Really? Yeah, apparently. I did not know that. Um, the more you know. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He just... It's a momentary stasis where he's laying on the ground where you could transform and use your sword, but... Or, like, get magic. Screw that when I can just, like... I mean, kind of pointless because he's just going to, like, stomp you. But, uh... You got lucky and he just kind of, like, walked over your head. Yeah, because normally that would deal some damage. Dude, he is shitting on you. Yeah... Like, you say those are rocks, but that's a big old turd. <laughs> that is an N64 turd. I that played Conker's Bad Fur Day. I know what they look like. I am the great mighty poo. Like, that is some straight up bullshit. Literally. Literally. <laughs> like, he is crapping on your head. That's alright, we got this though. Does he get faster the more fucked up he gets? Yeah, a little bit. Which... Doesn't make sense, you know, for a sentient bull. Because, like, you can see parts hanging off of him, and he's just kind of like. You know, electricity's coming out of him and stuff. Out so of he's, his ass. he's obviously getting screwed up, but yet he still manages to speed up. Yeah, I love when that happens. You get clipped just so you're right. You're just going to cheat him out of, like. You're a dirty whore, right? I'm not. You're a dirty whore. Is he throwing bombs now? Yeah, he's spitting out bombs. Is it because he's about dead? Yeah. He's got those different stages that he goes through. He went further beyond. <laughs> I hate when you hit those stalagmites, though, and you lose your spin. Like, that kind of sucks. Yeah. I feel you. I mean, I don't, because I'm not doing it, but, like... It is kind of an annoyance. I feel you. Get him. Oh, I plan on it. You only got one heart. Be careful. You need some hearts, dude. I mean, yeah, I do. And I didn't happen to grab a fairy before we did this, but we got it. Whew. That looked pretty intense. So, what, what, overall, what do you think about the boss fight? Because I remember, like, in last video, I asked you, like, your opinion on this rocks? boss fight. Yeah, they're rocks. Not just more turds. Like, that yeah. just looks like a big old, like, pile N64 of... <laughs> pile of shit. <laughs> did you know an ostrich's eyes are bigger than his brain? I did not. Well, the more you know, man. The more you know. That's a pretty cool-looking mask. Yeah. Like, if it didn't have all the rainbow shit on it, it was just the, like... Goat face? Yeah. Like, it looks like, uh, mechanically... Mechanical. Mechanically mechanical. Yeah, I can't wear it right now, homie. Oh yeah, you get to watch the whole place like turn back into spring, cause all the snow and ice melts, and we never unfroze that guy, did we? And uh, I mean, it doesn't matter cause he throws up anyways, but.
All right, guys, we'll go uh, talk to this blacksmith here. So we can get this uh, side quest underway. So he can do the first upgrade without the gold dust, and we'll get the razor sword. And then we've got to go get the jar of gold dust by doing the race. Uh, what was your question? That much we got in the bank? I think <coughs> like 300 rupees, give or take. There's a little bit of this like cavern we can explore. Has a Goron. Has a Goron, yeah. Did you know that koalas sleep around 18 hours a day? I did not know. The more you know. Fuck. Alright guys, so we are about to do the Goron races, and we're just gonna, are you almost there? Uh, kinda, cause like, I got to, uh, go buy a powdered keg, which is like, a giant barrel full of gunpowder, and only the Goron can carry it. It's the biggest size bomb in the game, but I gotta like, you can't put that, I mean, you can put it in your inventory, but like, this side quest, he just gives you one, and you don't put it in your inventory, so he gives you one with a live fuse, and you gotta carry it all the way from here back all the way back there and climb all the way back up that mountain without it going off because you got stuck it. yeah he's kind of like stuck too fat too fat kind of like the big goron goron in ocarina of time he's kind of like stuck on the side of this mountain so you transform and you talk to him how does he not like it's like, oh, well, I can't sell powder kegs to non-Gorons. Well, let me put this mask on and, like, magically transform in front of you. Oh, hello, stranger I've never seen before. <laughs> He's just got, like, the Superman effect on him, I guess. Like, take off the glasses and it's Superman. It's like, he has to approve you using his bombs. So, he gives you this task, and if you can complete this task, he'll let you use his bomb. But it's just a giant barrel full of gunpowder that's got a long fuse on it and what are you doing you gotta throw it up there that is so dumb yeah dude it gets even dumber how long does that have before it explodes well you see that fuse on it you have until that fuse pretty much why couldn't he just give you one that didn't have a lit fuse because you have to earn it Oh, so he's just a dick. He's just a dick. You know, never mind if you blow up in the process, you know, he's making his money. This one was actually for free, by the way. But yeah, any any more that you pay any more that you buy after this, you have to pay for. Are they all lit when you buy them? No, you can inventory the rest of them. This is just it's his way of testing you before he gives you permission to carry his item. One of those wolves look different because it's springtime and not I guess they shedded their coat, their winter coat, so now they have like a regular coat. They look nasty and mangy. Well, they are nasty and mangy. And you probably don't want to touch them because you'll get some kind of like Goron made mange that like turns your rock flesh into like wet noodles. <laughs> wet noodles. We're about out of fuse, homie. I think we'll make it, though. I don't think you'll make it. You don't think so? No. Alright. Talk to this doodle McDude. I just want to punch him in the face. 
Yeah, I'll let your baby. Spoiled brat. He is a brat. When's that thing gonna blow up? Uh, in just a moment. Hurry up, I don't have all day! <laughs> the moon's about to crash! Into my face! I mean, yeah, really, we're kinda short on time, cause... It's night of the second day. Well, it takes half days for the dang sword to upgrade. So, yeah. We'll be pushing it, getting that gilded sword on time. And then are we going to have to like go back in time before we do the Goron races? No, we'll have to do the Goron races to get the gold dust to get the gilded sword, dude. That's what I'm saying. So are we going to have to go back in time before you get the sword? I'm hoping we don't have to. I'm hoping we can just get all this done by the night of the third day without the moon crashing in on us. It just so happens that... It's not looking too promising, homie. Yeah. Alright, so here we are at the races. About to race some Gorons. Double whammy here, though. Uh, did you know a giraffe can clean its ears with its 21-inch tongue? And did you know that a giraffe had a 21-inch tongue? I did not know a giraffe had a 21-inch tongue. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Like, why? You wouldn't figure they would need a long tongue having a long neck like that. Fuck you, I've got spikes! I mean, yeah, that is pretty badass. I'm the only one that does have spikes. It's like those old cliche chariot race movies where the one dude has spikes and the other ones don't. They come out of their wheels or whatever, you know? Yeah. You missed the ramp! You don't have enough badges to train me! <laughs> Trees! What the hell? Well, they're not fucking around, are they? No, this is a pretty serious racetrack, dude. And you have to win first yeah, place? Yeah, you have to win first place to get that gold dust, dude. So we're probably going to be doing this for, for a, a good minute. little bit, yeah. Shit. I think you can actually shortcut there. But it's been so long since I've done this that I don't entirely remember. I like this game better when it was called Mario Kart. Oh my god. I got knocked off the bridge. <coughs> Did you really just, like, make a Mario Kart reference? Yeah, I said I like this game better when it was called Mario Kart. I'm gonna cheat and sit right there in front of the start line. You're not gonna make it! I got second place, but not first place. Ooh, almost fell off there. I know. So far, I'm in the lead. Nope. You just got passed. When those things bump you, like, you yeah, it slow down. Fuck your shit up, dude. Fuck. Damn it, so close. Blah. What'd you do? I crossed the finish line before they said go, so they made us restart. So you're cheating. Yeah, I am. He's stooping so low as to cheat at a children's game. This ain't no children's game, homie. This is the real deal. This is life. This is live at the Goron races. The, the Goron 500. I'm gonna win it, homie. I'm not gonna win. I hate this game so much, dude. You know, I just realized what we could have done to make this much easier. Is get that extended magic meter already. Because we did collect all those fairies. Which if I don't win it this time, that's probably what we're going to do, is go grab that extended magic meter. So I can just say, fuck it, and roll longer without having to pick these jars up. No! Alright guys, something unprecedented in the history of Majora's Mask is about to happen. I have seized control. Control! Control! Alright, now how do I do this shit? Hold down the A button to curl up, and you'll just use the your thumbstick to pilot. This is so stupid, and I hate the way the N64 controller feels. Yep. You're all fucking deal weeds, and I hate you all. Oh, God. Oh, that doesn't boost you like that. That's stupid. 
You have to be rolling consistently enough to turn into the spike mode. That's dumb. Why didn't they make it like a boost kind of deal? Because this isn't a racing game, it's Zelda. Why would you even put a fucking race in the goddamn game? Like, if it's not a racing game, why am I having to do this arbitrary bullshit? I mean, it's all for a sword that we don't even have to have. It's just, we have to have it. Yeah, Z button doesn't do anything. They could have made it do something in this, though. Like a boost? Yeah. I'm not gonna win. But now I know how to beat it, and I'm gonna do it. I'll be so mad if you win this. I mean, you're not going to, but I would I would have if that dude hadn't hit me. Like, because I think I could have passed that guy from momentum alone. <laughs> uh, can you drive with a D-pad? It would be so much more convenient I don't if you think could. so. Because it's more of like an eight-direction kind of thing, rather than a four-direction. Well, this is stupid. And people that play this game need to, like... Not so easy doing my job, huh? Ah, what? They said one. They said go. I saw it. You're a bunch of dirty fucking liars. Says the guy cheating. Ha ha! Fuck you! I got a head start! Bitches! I'm Spocky Goron! <laughs> I'm Spocky Rick! Fuck you, dildos! Damn it, I couldn't see shit when I hit all those pots, dude. There's so much going on, too, like. Why you go breaking my pots? Well, that was almost flawless. And then you smacked into a tree. I'm not gonna make it! Go! You asshole! Yep. You fucking dildo! Yep. Why? Yep. I can't win, you can't either. Fucking bitch nugget. I hate this controller so goddamn much. The 64 had a horrible fucking controller scheme. Well, I can consistently finish second, so I'm done. That didn't last long. I already hate this game. In general, when I deal more damage with a better sword. Look at them tailing me like that. Stupid. Are they programmed to target you? Yeah, they are. It's not really so much random as it is. They're just programmed to target other people. So if you happen to be right in front of them and they're right behind you, they're going to try to run into you as much as possible. What a bunch of dicks. Dude, fuck the Gorons. They're all a bunch of assholes. Yeah, they are. Worst race in Zelda. Mm, I mean, no, not really. But. Maybe next to And the fact that they can knock you down like that, stupid. Yeah, if you're not in spike mode and they run into you, it'll like... Like, that's what got me. They hit you and you're like, Oh, I'm stupid and on the ground. That's so what we need is like some go-kart noises right now. Or some like... Uh, tank noises. Because you're not really going that fast, but like you are at the same time. You can pass him, Robbie. Take him out in the curve. Yes! Finally! Told you, homie. Jesus. Take him out in the curve. Crash his ass. You know what sucks, though? Hmm. We get this bottle of gold dust, and there's no guarantee that we're even going to get to do the freaking upgrade. Before the time's out? Yeah. Can't you just, like, come back nah, and do you, it later? Yeah, I mean, we can come back and do the race again later, but... You have to do the race again? Yeah, you have to do the race again to get the bottle. Why? Of gold dust. You already have it. You don't. It doesn't stay with you when you go back in time, is what I'm saying, dude. Oh, that's lame. Yeah. That's why we gotta get this sword upgrade now, or we're gonna have to do all that again. Oh. Yep. That's lame. That's why I was pretty pissed that we couldn't get it done quicker. Why does he look so stupid? I don't know. See? 
they don't take any more orders because tomorrow is the carnival of time. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask Arbitrary Goron Races. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, let us know in the comment section what you think. I guess in the next episode we're doing the Goron Races again because we ran out of time. We should have probably just went back in time, honestly. Yep. It might have saved us a little bit of heartache. But uh, I'm Emerald Void. This is Link Shadow. And uh, check out the next, like, in the top corner there should be a little eye that pops up and uh, you can click that to watch all of the older videos in the series and watch some of the Nuzlocke. Like I'm going to start adding all the series that we do to that little eye so you can kind of get like an overview uh, of the series and the playlist. That eye? That is the, not the eye. But uh, <laughs> that's it for this episode guys and before we go did you know that we've got one question for you? Are you feeling you nostalgic, nostalgic yet? yet?